Hi guys, welcome to Rufus and Doofus. Chico here, and I finally came to a place that I've been wanting to come to for a while, and it's got a wacky name, and I think you may have heard of it, I've heard that they're around, but today I'm going to give it a try and see how it is. It's called, let me look again, I want to make sure, it's called a Mellow Mushroom, and I guess their claim to fame is pizza. Here, let me show you their sign. There it is, guys. I wasn't kidding. The Mellow Mushroom. All right, let's go in and see what uh, what it's all about. Okay. This is gonna be fun. It's always fun when I get to eat. Well, this is a pretty neat place. Uh, I can't say I've ever seen anything quite like it. Very different. It's pretty big. surface is very friendly. They've been very friendly with the seating and also suggestions on a menu. And the menu is not quite like normal pizza. There's not a lot of red based sauce pizza. Uh, there's a lot of uh, different types here with pesto and garlic based, oil based. Uh, really a, a very artistic way of making pizzas with a lot of different choices. So I think I'm going to try the holy shiitake. It sounds really good. There's a whole different bunch of um, styles here but let me just show you the menu and you can see there's a gourmet white a house special a cosmic karma magical mystery tour a mighty meaty uh, just to give you an idea the house special is a red sauce base with mozzarella cheese pepperoni sausage ground beef ham applewood smoked bacon mushrooms black olives roma tomatoes green peppers and onions tossed with extra mozzarella and that's a, a small, and it's thirteen forty nine. dollars A small has four pieces. I think that's way too much crap to put on a pizza. But I'm going to try the holy shiitake pie. And I'm going to get the small. Again, it's a little steep, but hey, guess what? It's my birthday. So here it is. Uh, olive oil and garlic base shiitake button and portobello mushrooms. Caramelized onions, mozzarella, and Monte Amore cheeses drizzled with garlic, garlic, aioli, and black truffle oil garnished with fresh chives and shaved parmesan. That sounds like something I'm really going to like. So that's what I'm going to order, and I'll see you when they bring it out. Okay, don't go away. I can't get over how friendly the waitresses and people are in Alabama. It's just really, really nice to be treated so well. They're very attentive and they do a great job. Uh, and I must admit this gal here at the Mellow Mushroom is, is a, a definitely a really good example of what a great waitress should be. So, anyway, make a long story short. Let's see. What can I talk about? Oh, I wanted to say something while I'm waiting for my pizza here. The other day I was talking to Patrick from the paddy wagon and we were chilling having a cup of coffee and he said, hey bud, what do you want for your birthday? Well, you know, after I told him the normal stuff, a couple of million dollars, a brand new RV, uh, maybe a little Ferrari that I could tuck under the RV in this special compartment, you know, those really big, beautiful, uh, well, we, we stopped right there, we told him to shut up because that was never happening. But then he said, no, seriously, what would you like for your birthday? And I said, you know what would be great? It would be great if I could get 5,000 subscribers. That would make my day. So, you know, he said, hey, you never know. So I'm mentioning it just in case there's, you know, like a whole bunch of you guys out there who haven't hit that subscribe button. That would really make my day. So hopefully I'll go home, post this video, come back in a day or so, and there'll be 5,000 subscribers. Then I'll jump up and down, do my happy dance, and everything else. I will be so happy. I will be tickle pink and, and take the dog out for a ribeye steak. How's that? Yeah, Rufus would love that. So, talk to you soon. Don't go away. Well, my pizza has not come out yet. That's okay, but I've seen some come out, and they look absolutely delicious. These are what I would call... Uh, gourmet pizzas for sure and I'd also have to say that the, the bread dough or the pizza dough that they use looks to be of um, artisan type of flair it, it definitely looks like it's a very good dough made with care and baked properly and that's from what I've seen so far so I'm, my expectations are quite high well guys I gotta show you this pizza 
it smells absolutely delicious. Look at that, huh? It's beautiful. As I say, it's a garlic-based, oil-based pizza. Very nice crust, uh, done well. Color is awesome. I can smell the cheese. Um, looks to be authentic. Smells like the real deal, I'll tell you. Very nice presentation. So far, so good. Let's see how it tastes. Well, guys, here's what I got to say. This pizza is outstanding. The flavor is phenomenal. The use of the, the cheeses, the cheeses that they chose, and the, the, the way they blend together flavor-wise is awesome. The aioyo that's on it is just phenomenal. Uh, all around an excellent pizza, and the truffle oil really sets it off. So I gotta recommend this place, yeah. If you ever see one, stop in, try their pizza. You are not going to be disappointed, trust me. So let me get back to you, baby. It's too good, and I like to eat my pizza when it's a little hot. Alrighty. Well, guys, there's the total bill. With the tip, it was $17.87. Uh, $14.87 for the soda and the pie, and then a $3 tip. Service was outstanding. Well, guys, I just wanted to say that that was one of the best pizzas I ever had. Yeah, I'm going to rate it right up there, uh, you know, as a 10. It was an exceptionally good pizza. Service was phenomenal. Uh, I have nothing to complain about. I will definitely come back to this uh, restaurant. I recommend that you guys try it. Very, very good. And I think the pizzas are authentic. They're not, um, they're, they're really nice. They, they're just not, I don't know how to say it, but... You know, sometimes less is more. The proper use of ingredients, you don't have to smother something with uh, cheese or with or what's one particular topping. If it's done correctly, less is more. And this place did it correctly. So I wanted to finish off the video in there, but as usual, my GoPro uh, shuts off unexpectedly. Uh, I've been told that, you know, and I, and I know that this is true, uh, uploads will take care of some of the problems not uploads but updates and you, know, you update the camera every time you download onto the computer because it it checked for them so GoPro has got a long ways to go with uh, with their camera they really do and I don't want to harp on it but uh, sometimes I just get so upset with it but other than that it was great and I love my pizza alrighty we'll see you later I'm heading home bye bye